In the last video, we introduced how to get to a unit. So we click on our button on the left here, we go to the unit we want, and we select the learning we're gonna do first, in this case, vectors and scalars. Now, I just wanna remind you at this point that we can't access any of these ones in red at the moment. These are for later learning. So we'll click on vectors and scalars, and you'll notice we have two learning objectives. Now these little boxes here are the most important boxes for each unit because they're the things that you need to know. So for example, in vectors and scalars, you need to be able to describe the difference between a vector and a scalar quantity. Level one means it's pretty simple and it's something that you should be able to learn quite easily. And down here, we have just a description. Students are required to differentiate between vector and scalar quantities, including speed, distance, displacement, velocity, acceleration, and time. Okay, so that's what you need to learn. So when you're preparing for an exam, these boxes are the things you wanna really pay attention to. Now at the bottom here, you have a scale, one, two, three, four, five, and you'll notice if I click one, just one is highlighted. And as I move my way up, they successively get enabled. Now this is how well I feel like I know the topic. At the start of this unit, these will all be blank, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to learn the things in this unit, and then I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to say, well, do I know how to describe the difference between a vector and scalar quantity for, say, acceleration, as it suggests I should be able to here? And if I can do that, and if I can do that for everything else here, and I feel really confident, I'm going to give myself a five for that. Now, if I'm feeling a bit less confident, I'm going to give myself maybe a four or a three, and I'm going to come back to some of these um, learning opportunities and try and improve upon that. Now, if I am perfect at this unit, I give myself five for both of these, I feel pretty awesome, I'm going to give myself a five for both, and then I'm going to go back, and you'll see now that some of my next options have become available to me. Now, on yours, these will be red still, but I've completed some more of these, and so that's why everything is now available, okay? But if I go back and I say I'm not very good at these, then it won't let me progress until I'm, very, until I'm confident with my vectors and scalars. In the next video, we're going to have a look at the different kinds of learning that we can do for each of the units.